left. Good morning. It's me, Lisa Simmons. I just want you to know today, first of all, that WISE, Walking in the Spirit of Excellence, African Accenture and Avon Products and Travel Business will be open today, 706 North Heritage Street, Kinston, North Carolina. And because I do have to work, I work a full-time job, 12 hours um, a day, four days one week and three days the following week I'm not always at the shop so my shop has suffered a little um, because initially I was working night shift 7 p.m. until 7 a.m. and so I could open my shop every Wednesday Fridays and Saturdays regardless if I was working my primary job or not However, now because of a shifting, I have been placed on morning shift, so I work 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. So I may be off this Wednesday, but next Wednesday um, I won't be able to work the shop because I will have to work my primary job. But I'm so grateful for those customers who continually come, you know, and, and it's such an awesome um, feeling when I am there and when they see my car and they make it a point to stop and they're so excited and they're like, I've been looking for you and, and I've been here, but they also understand that I have to do what I have to do um, in order to support um, myself, you know, and, and, and my lifestyle. So I'm just so grateful for those who have not given up on me. However, I do not want to be in this situation forever. I do not want to have to work um, a primary job while still trying to to make things happen in my life financially. I would love to become financially um, able to just work for God, work for the Lord, work for the kingdom, and work um, for myself, work my business. And I do believe that working my business is part of working for the kingdom. So my Avon business is established because Avon has been around for over 135 years so my Avon business is established my African Accenture praise God has been there for I've been doing this ever since 2012 I've been in my shop for this will be my third year so that business is established now all it takes is for the word of mouth for it to get around to everybody because I'm still getting people who's coming in who did not know that I was there so that's a blessing but what I'm going to work on um, this year 2020 I'm working on my traveling business wise traveling business which um, is a business that I have been blessed to be a part of through pay to save travels and it has been such a blessing you know because I have come to the the realization that um, I, I do not want to work 40 years have to retire and then have to live off of 40 percent of what I was making before if it's not enough now how in the world after retiring can I make it off of 40 percent with the world constantly changing as it is so I I know that there are resources up there and I am seeing it around me the people that I am around the people who are part of this traveling business the team that I'm I'm with I am seeing people growing I'm seeing people signing up I'm seeing them going um, from making an extra 500 a residual income into going to 1500 1800 15000 $18,000 up until like $90,000 a year. It is happening. And I know too many people are saying it's too good to be true. But my question is, why is it too good to be true? Why is it too good to be true when the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof? And, and there are no limits to resources. Why do we have the mindset that only certain people should be able to walk in the wealth of this earth? Do we think that we're not good enough? 
I beg the difference. I believe that I am good enough and that I was born to do so, that I am born for such a time as this. Yes, and I believe that God's intention for us was to walk in abundance, you know, and I just believe that when the wealth of the wicked goes and comes into the hands of the righteous, that we can do so many good things, you know, and I am seeing this happening around me, you know, and so that's why I come to you, and that's why I ask you, and I tell you about this traveling business, because I see with my eyes, I see what is happening, you know, and so in 2020, I've made my resolutions you know not not just resolutions for people but I've made my resolutions to myself I made my resolutions to my God that in this year I am giving a hundred percent of myself and pursuing the opportunities that have been granted to me you know opportunities come our way doors are open before us but you have to work you have to do the work and I am seeing people put forth effort you know and I am seeing amazing things. I'm seeing people travel to places they never thought they have been. And they would be, including myself. I'm in a place now that I never thought I would be. You know, I knew it was possible. I wouldn't even say I never thought I would be. Because I always imagine myself being, being where I am, but not just where I am, but even in a higher place, in a, in a, in a more secure place, you know, financially. Financially, um, I don't even want to say financially independent because I'm dependent on, on God. And I just love him for sending this opportunity my way. You know, so I don't want to stay long before you long, but I want you to consider that you are worth it. You are worth it. You do not have to work that 40 hour job for the rest of your life. I see so many people working and they can hardly make it. They're they have put in so much time. They have given their all. And now their physical health is, has suffered. But they still have to work because they still have to live. They still have to provide for themselves. You know. And I know there are so many other ways of doing it besides travel. You know. But this is such an exciting, exciting way. I love travel. And I travel a lot. And we all travel. We travel from one point, from point A to point B you know and I know the majority of you are going somewhere this year so why not let me help you save Say if you even if you don't want to be part of the travel business, you can you can say so that you can travel to the places that you dreamed of going, you know, or or, or or you can become on your own travel business. You become an independent travel um, partner, you know, where you can own, you can earn residual income. Who doesn't like residual income? Ever since I learned that word, residual income, I've been chasing after it, chasing it after it, you know. And so now this year, this year I'm chasing after it, but before long it's going to be chasing me. It's going to be chasing me. It's going to be overtaking me, you know, and I believe. So I'm just asking you. In 2020, just give me an opportunity. Give me the opportunity to show you. To show you. Not just by watching me travel. But let me show you. Let me present this to you. I'm not asking you to buy anything. I'm just asking you to listen. I'm just asking you to see what it is that, that we have to offer. I'm just asking you to... To, to, to accept this opportunity, an opportunity to listen, to see the good that's in it. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful because I'm not in this alone, but I'm, I'm surrounded by so many wonderful, godly people, kingdom-minded people, people who are putting the Lord first. First, it's God first, family second. You know, and I believe, you know, I have my grandchildren that I would love to leave a legacy for, that I will leave a legacy for. And I believe that this is my way of doing it, paid to save, through paid to save. So I'm just asking you, go to my page. Go, go, go. If you don't want to listen to me, just go to www.p2s.com. 
youtube.com slash wise travels go to my page and just listen to the videos try the business for 30 days i'm telling you try it for 30 days get yourself three free vacations fill out the survey get yourself three free vacations a year um and a three three vacations to anywhere out of 2,000 places in the world per year be a part of this tremendous thing that is happening within the earth it might sound too good to be true but it's true and it can be true for you and that residual income can become an income that's no longer residual but a no and not temporary but it can become a permanent part of who you are walk in your wealth wealthy place in this year praise god i come to you I'm not trying to sell you any bills of good but i come to you to try to show you a different way show you a different lifestyle that your status can change in 2020 so come on down to y706 north heritage street kinston north carolina and come and see me on today and i'll be there tomorrow so you can let all those around you know so come i'll be i will be looking for you to god be all the glory